Hey family, I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far. Um, I wanted to come and chat with you guys and let you guys know where I am um, mentally when it comes to my weight loss journey. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know um, I say it all the time, you know, I am here to support you guys and I am more than um, more than an open book, okay? I am uh, here cheering you on too, okay? But, you know, sometimes I like to vent as well and let you guys know what's going on with me, right? Okay. So, I feel like I am now comfortable with what I am seeing in the mirror. I feel like I am ready to just go in maintenance mode when it comes to my journey. Not saying that um, I'm going to be uh, upset if if I don't lose any more weight. I'm not saying that. You know, because more weight can come off. I'm okay with that. But if it doesn't, I'm going to be okay with that too, okay? Um, I had to um, pretty much figure out um, that this person that I'm seeing um, is still beautiful regardless of the roles, regardless of um, the stretch marks, regardless of the cellulite. I had to be okay with what I was seeing in the mirror and it took me this long to actually be okay with it um, I know I will still have my days you know where I am questioning what I'm seeing um, and honestly I feel like everybody goes through that it's uh, normal but it's not normal if you are making choices um, that can be harmful because of what you're seeing and you don't like what you see in the mirror. That's different. Um, I am no longer going to be making choices that could be harmful to myself. Um, because I've done it. Uh, and I feel like we've all done it before. We've all made um, some bad decisions when it came to trying to figure out ways to lose the weight. We've all been there. Um, but now I'm in a position where I understand what my body likes and what it doesn't like. I am comfortable with the workouts that I'm doing. Um, I don't have to um, overwork myself to try to get to my goals because I feel like I'm already there. Um, yes, I still have a stomach. Yes, I still have back fat. Um, yes, I still have some rolls. Um in other places, you know, um, but who cares? We're not meant to be here to be perfect. We are meant to understand ourselves and love ourselves in any type of shape, form, size, height, color, you name it. We are supposed to love ourselves regardless of what we're seeing in the mirror, okay? Um, uh, and it took me years to understand that um, through this entire process. Um, it took me a long time to love me. For me, I'm not saying I'm not going to have any bad days, which I'm sure I'll probably have them. They're normal. Um, and some days I won't be motivated to continue to maintain my weight. Um, but I am determined to maintain this healthy lifestyle because I don't want to go backwards um, just because I'm at a point where I'm not like going full force um, in order to lose the weight. I'm pretty much like in a chill mode. Like, you know, I'll still have my snacks. I'm still doing my intermediate fasting, um, especially now that I'm working from home. I don't want to overdo it with my eating habits because I am less active now that I'm at home. Uh, but I've made some adjustments to try to um, make up for um, the lack of like steps or the movement that I would typically get at work, being physically there, right? Um, so like my desk now is um, in the highest part of our house, the second floor. So now I have to take the stairs up and down to get to the kitchen, the bathroom, um, so adjustments like that, um, making sure that I am getting enough movement in. I am using a smaller water jug, as you guys can see. 
that way i have to get up and actually go get some more water versus using a gallon and then i'm just sitting here all day so i'm just making small changes you know to make sure that i am still maintaining my healthy lifestyle um, and maintaining the weight that i am currently at because that's what i want to do um so this is just like in a uh, uh a video to encourage you guys um to be okay with what you're seeing in the mirror to love yourself to understand that it's okay uh, where you are right now don't beat yourself up if you're in a position where you just are not comfortable with where you're at uh, but still continue to keep pushing forward but if you're comfortable with where you're at don't give up all of your habits that got you there you want to continue to keep pushing forward and still apply those habits to maintain the weight that you have currently lost okay because you don't want to give up and start back at square one because that's that's a long process okay y'all know i've been on this road since 19 faithfully okay prior to that i've had you know my bumps in a row where i would do it for like two weeks and then i'll just plummet and start over and just cycle you know, I did all that already. But now I am ready to maintain where I'm at. I'm comfortable. I'm happy. Um, I won't be so hard on myself um, because I technically don't have any goals to reach right now. Um, the only goal I have is just to maintain the weight that I have, you know, where I'm at, and I have where I'm at right now. And be comfortable with what I'm seeing in the mirror on a daily basis and love myself for me so yeah technically i do have some goals um but not like a weight loss goal but as i said previously if i lose more weight that's fine too i'm not you know um gonna force it or uh have that goal set in <clears throat> set in mind anymore um, i'm happy with me um and i hope you are happy with you too um, even if you're not at the weight that you want to be at, still be happy with you, you know. Um, I just encourage you guys to do that, to love yourself, regardless of what you see in the mirror. Because you can make changes um, to better yourself. Um, but just get up and do it. So that's it. That's all I had. Just letting you guys know that. Uh, Cassie is now um, in like the maintenance part of this journey, which can be harder. It's harder to maintain the weight loss sometimes, um, especially if you get too relaxed and I don't plan on doing that. So yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys later.